Two eight five one, turn right heading one eight zero. Hey everyone, welcome to DJ's Aviation. I've been quite ill recently, along with pretty much everyone uh, in my home area. It's been a little tricky to talk as I've got an excruciating sore throat. So if my voice sounds a little off in today's video, hopefully you can understand. Um, but I am going to try my very best. Developments have continued with the Trent 1000 engine issues uh, currently impacting the Boeing 787 operators. However, we've had quite the noteworthy development emerge over the past few days. That being, Rolls-Royce are currently preparing to test a blade fix for these Trent 1000 engines. Rolls-Royce is in fact hoping sometime during this month, which is June, this is for reference if you're watching uh, many months after this video was published, to commence its testing for a new revised intermediate pressure compressor blade for the troubled Trent 1000s. Now while I like to think I have some knowledge on aircraft, um, engines is far from my area of I guess you could say interest, so I'm learning as much as you are in the creation of these videos. A lot of you asked what the exact problem with the 787s have been and why they aren't impacting all the 787s. Essentially Rolls-Royce have been dealing with blade durability problems with the engines in the Package C version. I like to simplify this by saying that Package C is essentially Group C of let's say a Football World Cup. Since the problems first came about, Rolls-Royce have been hit hard not only by the media, but also airlines who have been severely impacted by this. The likes of Virgin Atlantic, British Airways and much closer to home Air New Zealand have all faced issues with their 787s. Air New Zealand, for instance, have had to draft in high-fly aircraft multiple times to operate services that the 787s would usually be placed on, and this is just to cope with the huge problems that they're facing. The Civil Aerospace President for Rolls-Royce said that it was completely unacceptable the disruptions that 787 operators were facing and added, while we expect the number of aircraft affected to rise in the short term, as the deadline for the completion of initial inspections approaches, we are confident that we have the right building blocks in place to tackle the additional workload this will create. While the tests will begin this month, the part which is needed to fix the problems on Package C engines won't be available to the end of this year. The original date of availability was actually sometime in 2019, so it is an improvement to say the least, but it will still mean carriers will go many more months before they get it completely fixed. Of course, Rolls-Royce have lost quite a bit of money due to the fixes and are actually yet to issue an official financial report into just how much they've invested in the problem. Anyway, that's just an update on the situation. Hopefully, I was somewhat bearable to listen to in this video. I'll be sure to keep you all updated on the situation as we move forward and the testing begins for this new part. I'd like to take the time now to thank you very much for watching this video of mine, and I look forward to you all joining me in the next one.